One of the common questions is what brushes are you using? This will be a series of videos where I'm going to be analyzing some brush packs that you may be interested in. Today, Rakuri's bundle. We have invited Rakuri to be in this video, so at least we have the recorded voice maybe in another occasion. Let's go. What do you think your bundle gives to the viewer or the Krita user? Hi Ramon and Krita community. Thank you very much. Most brushes are made for stylist works in mind, as I quite like the clean digital look. But the set also includes brushes with more texture and life. At first, I made a brush set to help me move to Krita from my previous painting program, Photoshop. I love the features I discovered in Krita. So I wanted to create the brushes to make it easier for me to switch over. Are you preparing more things for the future? I have had a lot on my plate recently and I look forward to continue work on version 3 of Rakuri brush set. I have big visions for it. In the meantime, I want to do more Krita tips on my YouTube channel soon. Knowing that the brush set makes people happy makes me so happy. It still doesn't feel real that there is a video about my brush set on the official Krita channel. Finally, Rekuri, do you want to say something to the audience? I want to use that opportunity to thank all of you very much. The Krita community is the best art community I've ever been a part of. Thanks a lot, Rakuri, for answering the questions. If you are interested in more little interviews like this, just let me know in the comments. And now, let's try Rakuri's bundle. As you can see, it has a lot of design in icons. It has a lot of brushes, 231. So <laughs> it's really hard to analyze all of these brushes, uh, but I did. So I have my own selection, which is the Rakuri Fabs. And it will be amazing to see how all these brushes can create interesting effects. So let's go. Okay, so now let me show you a couple of examples of exercises that I did to show you what we can achieve with this bundle. For me, this brush is really special, the liquid bristle. As I'm using an empty layer, I need to use the overlay mode to create all the blending but right now you are getting an idea of why I like a lot this brass. Because for example, I can reduce and I want to create a mountain in the distance like this. And it can start to play with color and mixing things really fast, really fast with the environment. I like a lot because I can create bigger strokes and create a madness of color inside my picture. Uh, the good thing is when I have, uh, as you can see, this uh, super color vibration. This is tilt dependent. If I want to just change my angle, just rotate my hand and I can create just like roads so we can drag color, as you can see right now, and dragging color from this. And as using this type of brush tip with holes, it creates like fiber effect. Good job, Rakuri, you have created a great brush. I love it. So you can create like moving, uh, speed effect, if you want to create and you can do a lot, a lot of different effects. And what about the glowing effect right here or just reflected on the floor? If we want to create fantasy stuff or we want to create color vibration, the rainbow ads you can use to create rainbows. But for me, it's more creative to use uh, something like this. It's like I am painting energy or whatever the effect is really good. This effect is not painting dark and bright parts again and again, but using the clone tools right here. Yeah, that one. So I can go to a part where the rock is light and dark. 
and I select this part and automatically I can paint with this and I am creating stones and um, that happens because I am sampling orange right here and this brown and I increase and it will be the same but bigger I am using in this case the cloning effect for painting then I can adjust but it's really good to create these pebbles that are uh, more complicated to paint with detail if we want to create this type of effect solid edges are better to create this effect if this brush doesn't paint there is no problem because i can go here to the painting mode and clone from all visible layers so you can see that i can create a structural so we have an rgba brush so we can then combine rgba brushes cloning brushes normal brushes to create uh, more interesting texturing effects the blenders can drag color different waves of energy or create another one just like this or you can play with reflections on the floor and this is a super fast way to create a wet surface and if i want to just soften this bit because this is too strong i want to recreate or paint another thing i can blend wherever i want and start from scratch so i could use this I, and this is a blender that also Find wonderful to create color combinations so now we have this landscape and we can redesign the background completely and remember we are using the overlay mode so I can go again to my previous step and now we are going to talk about how to make vegetation you can see that there is a lot of different brushes for vegetation you have some of them for grass so you select the point where you want to add the grass and then you start drawing and this line will be respected very good idea for creating grass start to create the vegetation look at the rhythm that i am using to create branches here and i'm not painting in the same direction or the same intensity i want to see this type of effect this is the darkest part this is my silhouette on my tree something like this you get the idea but now i'm going to use this so now i need i select this color and I start to painting i have my darkest part I just start to paint like this and create light. The light is coming from here, obviously. Maybe something like this. Maybe we need to recover. We start, we create a hole. And then I use blue in some parts because there will be holes. And then you, there you have uh, basically a tree. Of course, it can, it can be refined. And start to point, start at some points in that. If you want to texture things, you have all these textures available right here. This uh, to create a grainy stone, dirty, and um, you have uh, rocks, and you have these for creating walls, which are pretty useful. Maybe you create a wall like this, but you want to convert to floor and then press Ctrl T and press Ctrl, click here outside the square section and then track to the area you want to tilt your plane and then you have a floor. The first one, the rough chalk, is useful if you want to add texture or big dark areas. Then I was very surprised with size 8 brush. The effect is very good. I adjust it for myself to feel better on my hand. Also, we have loose brush that is useful if you want to remark something. If you want to draw with sketches with a thin textured soft pencil, Bliant is really good. And finally, thin pencil brush, which I discovered is comfortable for inking and writing with soft edges and a bit blurry look. 
I decided to copy my painting with these brushes. My favorite brush was Side Side because it's comfortable and produces a nice gradient effect so common in charcoal. I think this brush fits very well with charcoal KA bundle. I leave you a link in the description. When I am sketching, usually I want a brush that can create detail and medium big strokes. So I draw a lot erasing content because that way the drawing is faster. For example, the top part of the mountain. Did you guess what artist was in my mind while drawing? Please let me know in the comments. I will give you a clue. It's from a sci-fi and use a lot of red. And I will know you are appreciating this video and I will give you my heart. Returning to a sketch, be sure that you also use the pattern offset active to create texture while erasing. 30 minutes later, I see the sketch is finished. Nice. As you can see, Rakuri puts a lot of attention to the pixel brushes. So we have the purples for blending, the green ones for painting, and the blue or turquoise ones for the transformations. So in my personal opinion, this will be sorted in a different way. I will use this as a pixel, then as a thick pixel, then noise, then I will use the hatch, then I will use this blobs like pebbles. Then I will go for the uh, vegetation, which is this to create grass and this to create leaves. And the last one for me will be this brass, which creates shapes. I love it. Big shapes with no effort. So let's try the blender for pixels. As you can see, I can blend this, the shape of hatching. I can smear the, the color. I'm destroying the edges. I can move the painting it's like smearing. Maybe this will be useful to create water and this will be to create light grid texture. The last one is also used to move the pixels. The last one, this will be the more aggressive movement because drag entirely the pixels in whatever direction I want. So I can do that really easy to make it grow. Look at that. And to make it thinner, careful, because you can destroy the pixels. So very good job. When I was testing these brushes, I realized that this brush has a lot of lag I decide to remove the brush tip and then I can use that way. Sometimes I need to create, uh, for example, like glazing effect and that way I can keep the texture without destroying the things that are behind it. This happens also in other brushes. The bristle sprit has the same lag. I decided to remove also the masked brush tip and then the brush works perfectly. And the last brush is this one. It's the Abstractopolis. <laughs> it's a cool name, uh, but has also a lag. So I decided to remove the brush tip and now I increase the size to create backgrounds and then create the blending with the liquid bristle. So now I can blend and suddenly I have a good background where ideas come from. Just be aware of that and enjoy. If you are interested to see what brushes I have selected, here you have the, for example, the basics sprays, charcoal, also for inking brush, at the blend basic, at least two blenders at the beginning to work with these painting brushes, the dry brushes and the wet brushes, samplers, which are located here, the hue variation, which is this colorful section, vegetation, this one for creating rocks and this to create the trees and foliage, you have much more brushes oriented to create grass in the entire bundle. And the big section of blenders. This, which has a very edgy effect, the rake reclide, wild effect where displays to create 
big noise in one moment and this diamond vortex that can be combined when you have a lot of colors in your background and you want to create texture that will be my favorites at least during this video there are much more brushes available on the Krita artist community you can go to their resources section and you will find them probably you will have questions during this video if you want to give feedback about something just let me know in the comments.